Well, good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm not sure of the date. It's October something or other, the beginning of October. And today, we have got Colt's follow-up appointment for his speech. So, if you've been with me a while, back in April, I was uh, doing VEDA, vlog every day in April, and we took Colt for a speech evaluation. Um... He was talking, uh, but he just didn't seem quite as where other kids were his age at that point, um, not even close. And so upon evaluation, they did realize that his speech was about 50% less than where it should be. So they gave us some strategies to work with him. I went to like a parents meeting for a few hours to learn some more tips and tricks. And so we've been kind of working through some of those things with him. And he's come a ways. Um, I'll be interested to see what they say, though, because I um, I feel that he's not where he should be at um, his age. He'll be three in January, so just in three months, he'll be three years old. Um, and, yeah, I just, I don't know. So we'll see. It could just be mother's worry, but in my heart, I feel like he's not where he should be. So we'll see. So, and take you guys along with me today. Um, it is just nine o'clock right now. It's garbage day, so I got all of the recycling out. Um, Shane got the garbage out. Funny thing, here we next week they are starting a new program where you can only have two garbage bags per week per household. Unlimited garbage. Um, no, no, no. Unlimited recycling and unlimited um, compost. So like food waste. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, we generally do, I think, probably about three garbage bags a week, but we also aren't totally composting yet, so we don't really set all of our food waste aside, so i got to get on that this week um, to cut down, but we have tons of recycling. I've been going through my office, and I'll show you a little bit of it later. Um, and there's tons of like garbage and recycling to go through in there, mostly recycling because it's a lot of papers and things like that, but our office has been a catch-all for ever, always. Um, at one point, everything that we owned, everything we owned that did not live with us at my in-law's house, which wasn't a ton, everything fit into this office. Um... And it's a small space. It's not big, but like our couches, a chair, everything we owned. So um, that was while we were renovating. So anyways, as we've gone along and found homes for things within our home, the office has stayed still cluttered because our house is really tiny and we don't have storage here. Um, I don't even have a place to hang our coats. So yeah it's a struggle to find places so anyways the office has remained a junk heap forever and I've been determined to kind of work through it and get things um, where they should go and make it another functional room in our house so anyways that is a little glimpse of my day I'm gonna stop rambling I've got to do my dishes so I shared this tip a little while ago on my channel. It's a super duper simple tip, and you know what? Probably a lot of people do this anyways, but it is just simply to run a sink of um, hot soapy water to hand wash your dishes uh, for like, you know, any dishes that have been left over the night before and as well as the morning breakfast dishes. So that is what I'm going to do. I don't want to do it. I hate doing dishes, but um, this will make my evening so much easier so that when we get home from the appointment, um, It'll just, you know, I can start on dinner and not have to also worry about a lot of dishes. It's giving me back a lot of time in my day to get this task done uh, so I don't have to do it later. 
so I'm having a quick bit of breakfast. We have to leave in about 45 minutes. Um, if I've never mentioned, these reusable coffee cups from Starbucks are my favorite. I love them. They keep your coffee nice and hot. Um, and if you bring them into Starbucks, you actually get a discount on your coffee. They are... They used to be $1, um, and again, I'm in Canada, so these prices may be a little different for you, but if you're in the States or elsewhere. Um, anyways, they used to be $1, now they are $2, and but they're great. Um, we have a bunch of them, and I actually prefer these to travel mugs because they stack inside one of another, so they take up a very small footprint within your cabinet, and again, they just keep your coffee nice and hot. And so I am reading a, oops, I'm reading a book. Um, this is for, um, I'm proofreading a book for someone who has um, written a devotion book for moms of little ones. And um, I think it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm just even read through just the intro and oh my gosh, it's like speaking right to my heart. So Anyways, when I can share more about the book, I will, because I think it's going to um, be really awesome. So anyways, that's what I'm doing, having some breakfast, or reading, and then it's off to get ready for our appointment. So this is my outfit, and just a striped top. This is from Old Navy, some capris from Old Navy, some um, bangly bracelets. I love the noise, and... My hair consistently up in a top knot, and today it's really kind of bugging me. Usually, um, I do dirty hair. Sorry. <laughs> Usually, I do dirty hair on the days that I do like a top knot. But um, I went to go. Uh, I, you know, wash my hair, showered, yada yada, and I went to curl it today, and I just didn't have the time, um, and so it's kind of driving me a little nuts. We have to leave in about 10 minutes. And I've got to go get Colt ready. So we're here. I'm feeling um, very nervous and vulnerable right now. Um, kind of worked up. Um, the place where the speech appointment is is at a mall that's um, downtown. Like there's office buildings within the mall, and so there's this old decrepit like um, parking, and you like drive up on top of the building kind of thing and there's construction up here and my truck just fits under the entrance like my antenna was like um knocking the um pole that like you know measures like how big you can be to go up through this one entrance and and just feeling uh really nervous I guess just kind of what they're gonna say I mean you know that it's not gonna be anything bad and um there's kids that deal with so much more than what I'm, what a maybe cool even is, um, but I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of worked up and not myself, and very much like I need to be perfecting everything, um, especially within myself, like I just am feeling not right, so anyways, we're going to get in there, there's construction in front of the entrance, so I'm not even sure what entrance I'm supposed to go in at this point and um, I need to give myself time to get there so I will check in after all of this. So we're back, um, and I feel like I have exhaled a breath that I didn't even know I was holding in for the past several hours, and it feels good. Um, so she just kind of really let him play and just kind of evaluated him. I filled out um, a couple of surveys that I had done before, kind of about where I see him as, like, um, and she said that 
where he is right now. He's just, he just is slightly off where he should be. Um, she said it's very slight and to a lot of people it wouldn't even really be noticeable. So she did give me a few strategies to look at and um, she uh, booked us an appointment for the next, um, for April, so like another six months, uh, just to kind of make sure that he's um, uh, using like grammatic, not grammatically correct, but um, th th using the right pronunciation for words and things like that. So <sighs> that'll be good. So anyways, I am feeling really good because um, I guess in my own heart, I was feeling that he was a lot further than where he should be. Like when I think about Aubrey and I think about even other kids that I know who are his age and even kids like from fellow moms here on YouTube that I see um, that are kind of around his age, you just, you hope that your kiddo is on track and he's a teensy bit behind but um, we have strategies to work with and he just really, um, kind of I guess really impressed her with the play that he was doing and the um, words that he was saying and the things he was repeating so whew, that feels good <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try and meander myself off of this roof and head on home I might stop for lunch it's noon right now and I might just stop for something which means I'm not eating on my trim healthy mama plan but I'm kind of hungry and I don't know I'm just so out of sorts honestly within today I realized so much about myself like how I function um, and the tendencies that I go to when I'm nervous and not so much even nervous um, I don't even know how to say it like not like a ooh, I'm nervous but like nervous um, so God help me if anything bad ever happens to my children those mothers are warriors like completely who um, are fighting for the lives of their kids on like a daily basis because of things that have afflicted their children so God bless you mamas okay, I'm gonna try and get off this roof So for today's lunch, Colt is having some uh, roasted turkey deli meat, a pear, some pumpkin loaf, a red pepper strip, celery, and a cucumber. So we decided to stop at my mother-in-law's house. She had left me a text on my phone and said uh, that my sister-in-law was off today and that if I wanted to go over, we could. She had some yummy fall food here that I'll show you in a second. Um, that we're having for lunch. Um, my mother-in-law is at work and Colt was sleeping by the time we got here so I just let him sleep. Um, it's now one o'clock so it's been an hour since I last checked in with you. Well I'll have to leave around two to go get Aubrey from school so we won't be here that long. It's just Colt and I and the dog and we're just gonna have some lunch and relax for a little bit and then we'll get back in the truck and be on our merry way. And so here is my lunch, a bowl of vegetable soup, some pumpkin bread, a pear, and then for dessert we're going to have a little bit of pumpkin pie. Three. I need some help. Well, I think that you guys can both share them. Ooh. These are magazines from my friend Kate. Lego! 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 
Lego. A Lego. So much Lego things. Yay. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, so many Lego catalogs now, right? Yeah, are you excited? Yeah, I get to take a lot of pictures, right? Yeah. Whew, this is a lot. Gotta make a pile of them. Mm hmm. What do you think, bud? Kuti. You can look at all the animals, Kuti. Wait, I think I saw a Paw Patrol one. <gasps> look! <laughs> Paw Patrol. Yeah, yes. but look at the animals. 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 There's another Paw Patrol. Oh, you guys are funny. This, that's why it was so heavy because there's so many books. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Lots to read. Thank you, Kate. You rock. I got so many books. So we're home from all of our adventures and I think I'm going to relax a bit and then go make supper and finish our evening. Um, I don't think much else interesting is going to happen yeah, today. If it does, I'll go ahead and turn on the camera and share with you. But I am beat. I'm very tired. I think it's because I haven't really drank anything but coffee this morning. So it's now, you know, after 3 o'clock and I instantly came home. Walked in the door, put on comfy clothes, and poured myself a huge glass of water. So I'm going to drink that. I'm going to relax before the night begins. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us today. I hope you have a good day or evening, whatever time of day this actually is for you. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.